Okay, so this is these first questions are from actually from reteaching. So this first part is from the reteaching. Thirteen three. Okay, so I'm going to do those. So if you want to skip to the homework uh, questions, which were here, um, just you know fast forward till you see this big white. Uh, piece uh, come back on the screen. Okay, so anyway, um, just going to go through each of these. We're converting from degrees to radians. It says write each measure um, in radians. So we're starting with degrees, and so my formula is here, right? X degrees times pi radians over 180 degrees. The units I want are going to be the ones on top. Okay, so that's what I want. The units on the bottom are the ones that I have. So I'm going to get rid of them by dividing the degree angle that I know by a number in degrees. Degrees will cancel. I'll be left with radians. Okay, so in the first case, we've got 20 degrees times pi radians. divided by 180 degrees, okay, and so that's going to equal 20 degrees times pi, I'm just going to abbreviate using rad for now, all over 180 degrees, so the units of degree will cancel out, degrees divided by degrees, I'm not dividing the symbol by the symbol, I'm saying degrees over degrees cancels out. Think about this for a second. What if I took two feet and I divided it by one foot? I would have two over one or two. Not two feet. One foot goes into two feet twice, not two feet times. So the units cancel. Okay. So the same thing is going to happen with degrees. Right, so now I have 20 over 180. Let's see, 20 over 180, 2 over 18, that's 1 over 9. We're writing them in fractional form, not decimal form. So that's going to be 1 pi uh, radians, or just pi radians, over what was left on the bottom? Nine. You might write that as one ninth pi radians. Those would be equal to each other. Number two, 150 degrees times pi radian over 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to start to see a pattern here, and so I'm going to write it slightly differently. I'm just going to start off and say 150 degrees times pi radians all over 180 degrees. So now I have 150 over 180. That goes, right? And so 3 goes into each of those. That's 5 over 6. So it's 5 pi over 6. Okay? And now I'm going to write my radians. That will be the most common form to see it. The fraction written with pi in the numerator and then radians off to the side. 45. So now I'm just going to take 45 degrees times pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay? 45 goes into 180 four times. So it's pi over 4 radians. negative 110 degrees, pi radians, 180 degrees. I know my answer is going to be negative, so I'm going to put that out there now. 11 eighteenths, 11 doesn't, it's prime, it doesn't go into 18, that's not going to simplify. Okay, so it's going to be 11 pi over 18 radians. 
Notice I haven't put anything into the calculator yet, right? I haven't put anything in, not dividing and approximating. I will eventually on this assignment. Three hundred and fifteen degrees pi radians over uh, one eighty. Nice one. Okay, so three fifteen over one eighty. All right, so you know that's not quite as easy to simplify. Maybe I go ahead and put it in my calculator. Take 315, divide by 180, okay, and if it doesn't go evenly, you're probably going to get a decimal. You don't always get a decimal, but you usually will, okay, and so, uh, and since, <laughs> you know, 315 is not twice 180, so you're going to get a decimal. So when you're done, hit math, and the first choice is frac, and that will then put frac. It's going to take the answer and change it to a fraction. Okay, so step is go to math, hit enter. It's going to show you hit enter and it will change your answer into a fraction. So let's see what we get here. So when I divided on the calculator I got 1.75 and so I hit math frac and it says answer and it's got the arrow and it says frac and then I hit enter and I get 7 over 4. So that means it's going to be 7 pi over 4 radians. Okay. Three twenty pi radians over one eighty. Those are degrees. Okay, so again, we're just going to do that division. So it's sixteen over nine. So it's sixteen pi radians over nine. change from radians to degrees. Okay, so it's the inverse function. If you wrote it as a function, it undoes what we were just doing. So we're going in the opposite direction. So that means instead of multiplying by pi radians over 180, I'm multiplying by 180 over pi. Okay, so we're going to have the same kind of thing going on. So it's negative 3 pi over 2 times 180 degrees over pi radians, okay? Understand that this number is in radians already, even though it's not written, okay? So it says write it in degrees. It's assumed that that's in radians, okay? And really, I think in this, in this exercise, they should have said that, but they didn't, okay? So don't be confused by that because my radians over radians is going to cancel just like degrees over degrees canceled before. Okay, And if my measure is given with pi in it, that is my, my given radian measure has the pi, then the pi will cancel. But you can't assume it's going to cancel. It might not because that given measure might not have pi as a part of it. So now I've gotten rid of pi. Gone, 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 gone. Right? That's what I want. I want degrees. Okay? So now I still have the negative 3 left, the 180 degrees left. So I'm multiplying, and I still have the 2 down below. Okay? You could use a calculator, but 180 over 2 is going to be 90. 3 times 90 is 270 degrees. Okay? So with degrees, we have the symbol here. You can just use the symbol. So let's go ahead and uh, crunch out the rest of these. Okay, so here we go. So we have 5 pi over 3, and I'm multiplying by 180 degrees over pi radians. Okay, so 
like I did before, I'm eventually just going to write that as a single fraction, right? Get rid of pi. You know, you probably want to write that each time just in case, just in case it disappears. And the radians are going to go, of course, and 3 into 180, well, that's 60, right? You can divide it on your calculator if you're not keeping up with that, but 3 divides into 180 60 times. 3 goes into 18, right? 6 times. So then I have the 5 left and the 60 left. It's going to be... 300 degrees, okay, 300 degrees, and then number 9, I've got pi over 12, and now I'm just going to start to do it the way I was doing it before, 180 degrees, pi radians, I know you don't like to show your work, but you know what, it saves air, so now I just have 180 uh, divided by 12, and so 180 divided by 12 is going to be, what, 15? Is that right? There we go. 8 pi over 5, 180 degrees pi radian. Okay, that goes. And so now I've got you know, 5 into 180, so that, you know, gets to be a little bit, a little bit more, um, what is that, 36, right? And so, uh, you know, if you're not sure, just divide on your calculator. I don't care about that. You know, I like to see you work with your numbers, but, so then I have 36, so that cancels to 36 degrees, and multiply by 8, and you're going to get uh, 288 you know what? If you've got a calculator, don't even worry about it. Get on your calculator, multiply 8 times 180, and then divide by 5. Just crunch it out, do it all in 1. Okay? That's, you know, you know I'd like you to work the numbers, like I said a few minutes ago, but get this done. Right? Just get that done, multiply that out, and I think you'll find that it's, that it's uh, 288 degrees right there. Okay? And uh, number 11, wait, what was that? That was 10, right? Number 11, 7 pi, 6, 180 pi radians. Okay, and so again, it goes 6 into 180. 6 goes into 180 30 times. 7 times 30 is going to be 210 degrees. And it's negative, don't forget. Right? Didn't talk about that at the start. I don't really worry about the negative till I get done, normally, when I'm calculating these. And then 9 pi over 2, 180 degrees, pi radians, gone, gone. 2 into 180 is 90 degrees. 9 times 9 is 81. We've got another 0. 810 degrees. Okay? So that's the reteaching worksheet from class. Okay, this is the same thing. I'm just going to do odd questions here. I'm not going to do all of them. So I'm going to do one and three from this page. Same thing that we started with before. So now I've got 45. I'm changing degrees, right, to um, radians. Okay, so now... This is the um, pi radians over 180, right? Degrees. I want to get rid of degrees. I want radians, okay? So I've got the 180 down below and the pi radians on the top. Degrees go. 45 over 180. 45 goes into 180 four times. So that becomes 1 over 4. So I get pi is left and 1 is left. So it's just pi. In the bottom, I just have the 4, so it's pi over 4 radians. Um, you might see that as 1 fourth pi radians. I would probably write it that way. Number 3, 30 degrees It's going to be over 180 pi radians, 30 over 180. How many times 30 go into 180? Six. Six. 
right on the bottom, not the top. So it's pi over 6 radians. 5, oh, that ought to be easy, right? 180 over 180 pi radians gone. That's just pi radians, right? The whole circle is 2 pi. If I go all the way around, if I go all the way around, it's 360 degrees. Divide them both by 2. 360 over 2 is 180. Pi, 2 pi over 2 is just pi. Okay, and then finally, um, number 7. And so, uh, that 270, is that right? 270 over 180, pi radians. Okay, so that's 27 over 18. That's 3 over 2. Okay, again, if you're not doing the multiplication as quickly as I can, don't, don't worry about that. Use your calculator if you want. Just change it to a fraction, right? But number sense is a good thing, too. So, okay, and... Um, Just a few to go here. I've got 9, 11, uh, and 13. 9, 11, and 13. Okay, so I think that, yep, just 13. I might do 2 on that page because they don't have the pi. So now we have pi over 6, right? In radians, I want degrees, so 180 um, and pi radians, right? And so I'm sorry, I want degrees, so I'm changing radians to degrees here. So pi radians, pi radians go 180 uh, divided by 6. Is 30 degrees. I think that we had 30 degrees as an answer before, or as a start, and changed uh, 30 degrees into pi over 6. So that's that's comforting, right? I know you'll feel better about that. And then um, 7 pi over 4, 180, and pi radians. Pi radians goes, right? 4 into 180 is 45. So I have 7 times 45. So what's 7 times 45? What's uh, 280 and 35? 315 degrees, right? Do it on your calculator if you want. And finally, um, we have 1.8 radians. Notice they wrote the word, right? Oh, they did here too, so that was better. I, you know, I didn't even notice. Uh, just rushing through it. They are writing the word here. They didn't on the reteaching worksheet. I'm not sure why they didn't. They really should have. Um, so now I have 1.8 radians, and I'm changing to degrees, and so multiplying by the 180 and dividing by pi radians. This is where now, for the first time, we're going to have to use a calculator to get the approximation, right? Because there is no pi. No pi. It's pi, not pie, by the way. Okay? The radians cancel, but the pi doesn't. There's no pi up here. So now I'm just going to go on my calculator. I'm going to do 1.8 times 180 divide by pi. Pi is second and the caret. So on your calculator, it's second in the caret that you use to do exponents, which is um, right above the division sign. So it's second caret, and that will give you pi. Okay, and so when you do that, I know you can't see me doing this, but it's going to be 1.8. I can do it all in one. 
times 180 divide by second pi enter 103.132 and that would be your answer, okay? Um, so that pattern is going to be the same, right? If I were to do uh, number 14, that's going to be 0.45 times 180 and divide by pi. So we can do that one, right? And you could even put this in y equals if you wanted. So that's 0.45 times 180 divided by pi. Okay, and you get 25783. So this is 20, 25, is that what this is? 25783. And uh, the first one was negative 4, so that's going to be negative 4 times 180 divided by pi. And I get negative 229183 also. Negative 229.183 degrees. And that is it for uh, converting degrees to radians and radians to degrees.